Hello everyone on the next year and in this buildcraft tutorial I'll show you all the different pipes that are in the game including the ones that come with the original mod and pipes coming from two additional mods so let's begin this is our first and second basic pipes there are cobblestone pipes and stone pipes they are the most basic form of transportation in terms of piping, the, the only thing they do is move things around and put them into chests and that's it. If an item flows in a pipe and comes into an intersection, it will randomly go into one of the other directions. So if we got two pipes coming out, we got a 50-50 chance coming on one of the in any of the sides. One thing you should know and you already can see that cobblestone pipes and stone pipes don't connect to each other. So because they both save the, serve the same purpose, you can use them in tight spaces and they won't connect and you can have two different pipes right next to each other. Let's move along, we got wooden pipes. Wooden pipes are the pipes that help us extract items from a chest or an automatic bench when powered by an engine, either it being redstone, combustion or steam. They will pull items out of the chest they're connected to. Rest on engine, being the weakest, will only pull one item at a time. Steam engine will pull stacks of items and combustion will pull full stacks of items. So for instance, here I have an automatic workbench creating wood out of, creating wood planks out of wood. If you're connected to a redstone engine powered on, we'll start extracting the planks. You can see it being extracted slowly. Let's move along. Here we have our steel pipe. Unlike cobblestone and stone pipes, this also transfers items, but if it's in, it, in an intersection, you can decide which direction items coming into the pipe will go out from. So items can go into here from any direction, but can come out, out of the clear section. And you can change it by using a wrench on the pipe. Next we got golden obsidian. Golden pipe when powered by redstone give you give the items flowing in the pipe a speed boost. And obsidian pipe when not powered at all will suck items into it that are thrown into. And if you power it by an engine of course, depending on the strength of the engine, we will pull items even from far away. So right now it's not pulling items, but if we had the steam engine connected to it, it would suck it in from afar. And let's see the gold pipe in action. You can see it boosts the, the item flowing into it. Also, one thing you should put in mind is that in cobblestone pipes and stone pipes, the speed of the gold pipe slows differently. What I'm trying to say is that in cobblestone pipes the speed lowers faster, while in stone pipes it remains fast for a longer time. And last of the original pipes is the diamond pipe. Diamond pipe works like an advanced version of steel pipe. When you place it you get that, that nice colorful pipe. And what it gives you when you right click it is that these four colors. Now if you place the color above and underneath, you also get the black and the green. What it does is basically fil filters the item that flows into it. Any items can come into it in any direction, but only items, let's say redstone, will be in the red section. Redstone, any redstone that will come into the pipe will only go out through the redstone. Now I can place it also in the blue section and it will randomly choose between blue and red. Any other item will go out of, out of the any other filters that are empty. Next we go that we'll, let's go and check our uh, modded pipes. These pipes don't come in the original uh, buildcraft, it's an additional mod. This is the insertion pipe. Insertion pipe will always prefer items flowing placing items flowing into it in, in a chest or in inventory if it can. If the inventory is full it will pass on. But if 
unlike stone pipes or cobblestone pipes that may randomly put in the inventory or not, this will always prefer placing it inside the inventory. And extraction pipes. They also can work like wooden pipes if powered by engine. They will always prefer not placing an item in an inventory if they can. And if you are asking yourself what's the difference between an extraction pipe and a wooden pipe, is that if that pipe is connected outside, it may randomly place items inside the chest and sometimes it will move it along. And the third pipe in that pack is the bounce pipe. The bounce pipe, if it's not powered by redstone, it will bounce anything coming into it from the same direction it came to. And if it's powered, it will simply go through, and if it's an intersection, it will work like a cobblestone or stone pipes, we randomly choose the path. And this is our last pipe, it comes from another mode, called redstone pipe. What it does is when an item flows into it, it will simply turn on and light redstone into it, and as you can see, you can use it various ways to determine items flowing through your pipes. And that's it, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and enjoy Billcraft!